into an offline tournament to prove that they can do it no matter the environment. Yeah, there's a group of guys that want to prove themselves, but there's also an old group of guys that want to disprove these guys that are trying to prove Mm -hmm. themselves. So it's going to be exciting. I I definitely agree with you. We're heading to the arena for our next set of matches. And this one is interesting because I did not expect to see Lily. Did not expect. Did not expect to see Lily for sure. But, you know, she received... She was probably one of the big winners out of the recent uh, balance patch. They, the developers acknowledged that, uh, you know, this character is underused. A lot of people, you know, don't really like player anymore. And we're going to give her huge buffs. And now she's got lows, she's got mids. She's oh, got he caught up. <laughs> Tried to block the low stop. Jeez, Roy Tekken going in. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised that we saw uh, Lily, but maybe even more surprised that we might not be able to see her the way that uh, Roy Tekken is playing. <laughs> We're going to see that much is what you're saying. We didn't see yeah. Valencico play in his loose qualifying matches, but we did see Roy Tekken bring that aggression to the table. Like, So we already know what to expect. Is is is, is Valencico going to be able to weather the storm? You know, Roy Tekken, he's going to bring those down back threes. He's going to bring those lows. And Guaranteed. The thing is, you know, Lily, that front flip that she does is really, really strong against low. So if that lines up, she might be able to deter Roy from just going hand with those lows. Well, big opportunity here. The wall splat wasn't ready for the re-splat. And look at that slight hesitation there on the low Roy Tekken, able to take two rounds straight. But uh, Villancico had a good opportunity there. It just timing didn't work out. Okay, hop kick. And this is a moment of opportunity. Wants to mix things up, keep Roy at the wall, but instead somehow his back was to the wall. He's trying to work his way out of there while blocking these pokes as well. That's the thing. You want to move, but you're getting rushed down. So you want to move and block, move and block. That's probably the safest way to get off the wall. You know, don't try to just do too much of one. Don't try to just move. And don't try to just only block because if you only move, you're going to get, if you only block, you're going to be there for a while. Oh, yeah. Nice. Side step one plus two, trying to open up the pathway. And look at that, the Kenpo step. Reverse Kenpo step, counter hit. That's the Roy Tekken render that down back three. I could tell that's his favorite move. Really fighting for her life. Lentico, he's got the race drive, but her race drive is not the best, especially when you're up close. Better to use it from afar. Uh, Roy Tekken just doing what he does best, putting so much pressure on your opponent that they don't even have time to really get a good game plan down. Like you're, he, I feel like Lentico is left with more questions than answers after the first game. That's really kind of the opposite of what you want it to be, right? After the first game, if you got beat down, you kind of want to be like, okay, I did this wrong, I did that wrong, but like, you might still be at <laughs> Yeah, so that's the, the thing, too, is like sometimes when you're playing in a, a set, like let's say it's a, it's a race to three, right, or a race to two, you have to be able to adjust so quickly if you want to even have a chance to kind of get out of this hole. And it was obviously very convincing there from Roy. He was able to win uh, very quickly in the set and very dominant, I would say. So going back to the drawing board as a Lily player, you have to think now, am I going to switch characters? How do I approach the matchup differently? Do I kind of be a bit more aggressive and kind of take away the opportunities or the offensive flow for my opponent? But you have to do that all in such a short amount of time to get back into the game. And again, because it's the loser bracket, added pressure because you're out of the tournament if you lose this next match. Yeah. When we saw Roy Tekken in his qualifying match against Heisenberg, I mean, it was much more or less the same that we saw from Roy. But Heisenberg, on the other hand, was not afraid to kind of throw attacks of his own. He wasn't afraid to do his thing with Eddie. He was able to deal damage in quick bursts, but I think the pressure is just making Valentico fold. He's not able to initiate anything with Lily. So there, there, there's like, you know, you can only go up, I feel like from there. So yeah, there. and Valentico is the current points leader for really? Central America. He's at a hundred points right now. Okay. He's the guy that has, is at the top of the leaderboard. It's not going to be the same at the very end. So he needs to get as many points as he can from this top eight to really solidify himself a spot for later this year. Uh, you know, the, the kind of like what you were talking about, uh, that, that, that breathing room. You got to make sure that you are able to be able to be in a position where you can chill for a bit and 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 kind of pace yourself throughout the rest of the season. Yep. I mean, that's the thing about the tours and the points and everything like that. When you're at the top, you control, like, uh, you know, how, how, how everything goes. Like, if you enter tournaments, you're going to increase the lead or you can just wait to see people catch up where you might not even need to do any more work. They might not be able to catch up at all. Like, the bigger the cushion, the more you just get to sit back and kind of watch everybody else fight for those points and tear each wow. other up for a spot, right? Anyways, going right into it. Roy Tekken up 1-0 right now in this race to two games. Well, he dropped the combo. He wasn't ready, but he goes for the full charge power crush. Okay. Oh, oh, I like to see it so far. 
The aggression is shifting towards his favor. We're going downstairs. Oh. Yeah, a little bit better from Letsuko. He's quite active this time around. This is a situation, same as last time, where you don't want to get comboed. If you're Lily, so you want to avoid that. And with the wall right there, Rage Drive is going to be huge. And, you know, yeah. you don't want to backdash too much when the opponent, has, like Fang especially, has a Rage Drive like that. Because during backdash, there is a window where you're vulnerable to getting hit with moves. So if you could just throw it out randomly and you get caught. And, it's, 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 you know, it is what it is. That's what happened right there. Try to yeah, just it's all back. about timing. And, and Roy Tekken's timing, for the most part, has been on point in this particular matchup. Uh oh, counter hit, follow up, nice sidestep attack. Let's see what Villain Sicko is going to do here. He does have a slight life lead, but he, again, has to be very careful. He can't be whipping like that. Oh, and you talked about that earlier the advancing cartwheel, able to beat out certain lows, and it crushed that one, able to steal that round. So we're tied up on rounds here in game number two. Absolutely. So gets on the board with the round. I think he's gaining confidence enough to go for the Matterhorn after the sidestep. A Lily classic. Here we go, the wall. And he was aware of the wall. You saw how he tried to sidestep. I think he went the wrong way. He made it so his back's against the wall now. And look, he's bleeding out. I mean, Roy Tekken knows. He is an offensive mastermind. There he is, mixing up grabs and just keeping it rolling. Risk after risk. Sidestep forward. That was a move that he could have easily gotten blocked and launch punish for. But you know, you gotta be willing. You gotta be willing yeah. to really keep your opponent on their toes. Nice jab out of the cartwheel float. That is the big weakness of that move. Uh, since it's so slow, like if your opponent likes to throw out jabs, you will get loaded. Oh, here we go. Stop the advance here. Roy Tekken one round away from sealing the deal here and eliminating Villain Sicko from the tournament. We haven't seen a single forward four from Lily. Like that's the big talk of the buffs. A mid move that's fast, great range, and the most importantly, keeps your opponent in check for not being too aggressive. We have been talking about Roy Gre Roy's aggression, how he loves to press buttons, and a couple of forward fours on counter hit would definitely slow, slow him down for sure. Tense moment right now. Roy trying to finish the set, not force up the light. Final game, while Valencico is just trying to survive. You know, the guy trying to survive is definitely going to try to extend it as much as possible. Bad situation, though. And again, the grab gets through. Fang doesn't have uh, the best grab mix ups when he's face to face. So it's either one or two, or one plus two. And, and um, yeah, you know, Roy Tekken has gone for that double break a few times. So I think, I feel like Valencico should have been right there for the break, but he was not. And again, when the opponent's just pressing.